going on everybody and welcome back to the channel now today we've got some big news guys this is a serious video a serious serious video now firstly if you guys are new subscribe secondly if you don't know who my favorite cricketer of all time is Moses on Reeks. Well, maybe not of all time, but he'd be up there. Um, just one of the great blokes, one of the most underrated Australian cricketers of all time. One of the most underrated cricketers in history. I don't care what anyone says. Like, okay. Now, the point of this video that I want to get into, this is going to be emotional. This will be raw. These will be my real thoughts. Now, of course, if you guys don't know, Moses on Reeks was not picked up in the IPL auction. Um, yes, I know. I'm as surprised as you are. Um, he had a base price, I think it was of two crore, um, which I think was a pretty fair price for someone of his, you know, skill and what he brings to a side, um, which we will get to what he would bring, bring to a team in the IPL. And I hope this gets on some IPL team's homepage, or I hope someone can see this who's high up and can get this great man an IPL contract because he deserves it. He has, yeah, I'll save, I'll, I'll, let's get it. You know what? Let's get into it, guys. Let's just get straight into it. I've pulled up his IPL records right here. Um, as you can see, he's played 62 IPL matches for 1,000 runs. Just inspirational right there. And 42 wickets. I mean, look, you're not going to get many all-rounders who can make a 1,000 runs and take 42 wickets. That's all I'm going to say. Um, all right, we've got his stats here. So let's just let's just go through. 2009, we've got here. Um, all right, played one game. Wait, did he play? No, he played four games. 38 runs, high score of 30 not out. Obviously, early in his career, would have been batting way down the order and barely bowling, so keep that in mind. Um, yeah, let's get to the good stuff. So he only played one match in 2010. He... He played 10 matches in 2013. He made 165 runs, a high score of 44, and an average of 41 from 10 matches. Let's keep going. Strike rate of 132. Um, I mean, guys, come on. Who else is averaging 41? Not many. Um, 2014, look, only played four games. Um, whatever. 2015, played nine matches, 287 runs, a high score of 74 not out. And guess what? Just another average of 41. Strike rate of 136 again. He made two 50s that year. I mean, come on, guys. These are stats of a legendary player. 2016 was by far his best year um, with the Sunrisers. Did he win the... Was he a part of that winning title? Because I... Or was he on the bench? I can't remember. Um, but of course, yeah, David Warner winning that. Um, played for Sunrisers for most of his career. 17 matches in 2016. Three times not out. 182 um, runs. 31 high score. Average of 15. Look, that doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> 2017, 12 matches. High score of 55. 277 runs. Average of 46. Um, scored three fifties that year. And then the last year where he um, played for My Punjab Kings, which obviously made me smile every time he went out there. He also took a hat-trick last year as well. Do not forget. Um, yeah, played five matches, 31 runs. Look, he didn't get much of a chance to bat. Unfortunately, we just weren't having a great season. And Moses is a guy who should be in that top four. I don't know why we were batting him at like five, six, and seven. It was a joke. I said that when I was reviewing the games, but... Yeah, it's not ideal that season. But look, you know, he last year he went for 4.2 crore to Punjab. Like, obviously people rate him across the world. Um, we're going into the bowling stats now. Um, I know this is a different kind of video, but, you know, I have this platform and everyone, you know, knows that I'm a massive Mozzie, Mozzie fan and anything I can do for the great man that could possibly get him a contract or just any sort of thought that a team would pick him up. Like, this is a legendary figure in Australian cricket, in my opinion. That's all I'm going to say. Um, and I think he needs his respect. Let's go through his bowling stats. So, look, 2009, took two wickets. That's great. 2010, one wicket, only played one game. 2013, played 10 games, seven wickets. Um, only average of 20, which is okay. 2014, four wickets. Um, 15, 11 wickets. 2016, 12 wickets. Look at this. He played nine matches, bowled 25 overs, 
11 wickets for an average of 14. Best figures of 3 for 16. 2016, yeah, best figures 2 for 17. Economy, 7. Like, I mean, that's not a great average, but 12 wickets is great. 2017, he played 12 games, only took a wicket. Look, of course, he wasn't bowling too much. Um, in 2017, 2018. But 2021, he played five matches, bowled 10 overs, four runs. Up uh, four runs, four wickets, an average of, oh, an average of 11 runs and like an 11. He averaged 11. Economy of four and over best. He took three for 12, of course. That's including that hat trick. Um, I think that was against CSK or RCB. I can't remember, but um, look, this is a guy who deserves his respect who deserves to have an IPL contract. You know, I know a lot of people watching this right now would be thinking, those stats aren't that great. Like, what are you going on about? You sound like an idiot. I might, and that is fair enough. That is everyone's opinion. But this is a guy who has won, you know, has captained three, what, how many winning titles for the Sydney Sixers? Look, he's captained two to three winning titles for the Sydney Sixers. One, that's great leadership. Two, he is the sweetest, greatest guy in history. Like, I'm not even kidding. He is the, one of the nicest guys. He brings great energy to the to a team, any team that he's on. He brings leadership. He brings um, experience in this league. He brings all round. Like, the world is crying out, especially the IPL is crying out for more um, all-rounders. You know, we're picking these guys for... In the auction, there were guys who I've never heard of get picked up for like 1.5 crore or 2 crore. And I'm like, who is this guy? Who is this 17-year-old from Uganda who I've never heard of, but you can't? You tell me there's no spot for the man Moses on Reeks, who was in the second auction, could have easily been picked up for less of a price, which he would have been fine with, I'm sure. Um, yeah. I, I've been boiling... You can tell I've held this close to my chest ever since he didn't get picked up in the auction earlier this year. Um, yeah, let's go through. Now, we're going to go through some just some sweet images here. Um, there's the man right there um, winning the title. Again, that's just what he does. He wins titles. He makes runs. He takes wickets. He takes catches. He ta he makes run, run outs. There he is right there. Um, just inspirational. Look, I don't know what we're doing here on the Google Images. I think I've got another. Here we go. The IPL. Let's just go through some of the Moses on Reeks IPL moments. So here we go. Of course, when he first played for Punjab. Um, well, Kings Eleven. Yep, there he is right there. Um, of course, played for Sunrisers. Played his best cricket um, for Sunrisers. And as you can see here, I don't know if my face cam's blocking it, but it says IPL 2020, five unlucky players who went unsold, and he's the face of that article. As he should be in 2020. Um, of course, RCB. This is my favorite RCB kit probably almost of all time as well. Um, he looks very, yeah, very sexy in that one right there. That's for sure. Um, but of course, last year, as a Punjab Kings fan, to see him out there with Rahul, Agarwal. Hey, I mean, look, guys, if you're in my Discord, you know that this is the profile picture of my Discord. Like my entire server, this is the photo that I use. This guy right here, legend. Um, who we got here? We got the man Jai Richardson, Mozzie, and, and Pat Cummins. Oh, man. He deserves a spot so much. And I don't understand why he hasn't. Um, hey, let's leave it on this photo right here. This RCB kit is just one of the greatest cricketing kits of all time. But hey, look, this may... I don't know how long this video went for, but I'm just lucky enough to have the platform to come on here and say some good words about the man Moses on Reeks. I will be accepting... Zero disrespect on in the comments. Zero disrespect and slander allowed. Um, look, you can comment whatever you want. But any IPL team, any executive, any player watching this, just anyone who has any influence on literally anything in IPL, please get the man, Moses on Reeks, a contract in the IPL in 2022. This is the man right here. Where is he? Moses, where are you, mate? Where are you? Here he is. Here he is. Look, that's what he'll do. This... Oh, shit. All right. I, I, I just read the headline <laughs> on that, and I'm going <laughs> to exit out of that one. But get this man in the IPL. He's a great bowler, a great fielder, a great batsman, a great bloke. Probably makes a great coffee. I'm sure he makes a great biryani as well. No doubt. That's just what he does. But hey, look, that's just going to cap it off, guys. Hashtag Moses 
for IPL 2022. Or we will find some hashtag because this man, he deserves it. I might even make a video like this as well for Suresh Reina because he is another one who was just absolutely snubbed and should be having a contract. Of course, the season starts March... 26, I think, as well. So when we're like a few weeks away from the season starts, um, there's, there's players that are pulling out of the competition. Fill-in players are getting signed. This should be the first guy on any team's mind as a replacement player. So, hey, that will cap it off, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, justice for Moses. That's all I've got to say.